Welcome back from that break. And now into some business news this evening. A Korean program on international agriculture has embarked on 185 million shillings to skill model rice farmers on the new varieties to boost rice production in eastern Uganda. The exercise targets increasing PR107 production in the country to enable farmers to fetch good prices on the world market due to its aromatic value. A number of model rice farmers in Doko Rice Scheme, Eastern Uganda, have been trained on the new varieties of rice from South Korea, codenamed Piera 107. Uh, most of the Ugandan rice farmers transplanting with a randomly, Ugandan style. That rice transplanting system is not good to increase their yield, rice yield. Today we have learned the trick of how you can plant so that you, your rice is in good rows, both horizontally and vertically. Piera 107 variety is described as a competitive variety on the international market due to its aromatic value. Uh, recently we had the calls from all over Uganda who were interested in the variety. But the demand is still very low. That's why we have recruited the other farmers also to start growing this PR107 from our Korean friends. Farmers are now expecting to earn more by increasing their production from 1,500 to 5,000 tons milled rice per hectare. What we have been eyeing as farmers, because since then we have been growing other local varieties which are low yielding. But this PR107, as you have seen, if you can do it the Korean way, we can be able even to get over five tons per hectare. The farmers need skill on post-harvest handling of PR107 to avoid losses during the milling process. Maybe in the future, no Uganda rice farmers, TCR Uganda farmers change Korean advance, change it. I will support in the future many things. For example, with us, pesticide, fertilizer, and all machinery I support in the future. However, lack of financial education among the rice farmers remained a problem. People were getting a lot of money, but because they had no guidance, financial management, they didn't know what money is, they didn't know what money it should be for. People started doing funny things. But to them, it was not funny. To some of us, it was funny. What was funny about it? They were buying what they thought was right. The first thing they started buying were wives. And the wives also knew that there was money. And where, where there's money, a wife will come. Farmers received gumboots and fertilizers to enhance rice production in eastern Uganda. So that Kai Oko Joseph, UBC News. Well, UBC News tonight has come to an end, but do join us at 10 o'clock for our second edition with more, more stories. I'm Lorene Masika Kazimoto. Do join us at 10 uh, with Elizabeth Nakakoni on sign language interpretation. We'll see you then.